Today I'm going to show you how to sign up for Zoho email and attach it to your domain host. If it's helpful, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and let's get started. So I go to Zoho, just Z-O-H-O, -O, Online Office Suite and SaaS Applications for Business. That's Software as a Service. That's what that SaaS stands for. And if you go to Zoho, you'll see that this is what it has. It has sales and marketing, it has a built-in CRM, sales IQ survey, campaigns, which is like email marketing, Zoho sites, which we're going to sign up for, some social media, contact manager, mail, invoice books. It's basically a full back office suite of software that you can use online. Now if we jump over to the sites section here, it allows us to create a website. It also says you can get five mailboxes, email. So mail hosting is provided by Zoho Mail. You can also purchase additional mailboxes if you need. So let's go over to the Zoho Mail pricing. So I'm going to get started over here. And I'm going to sign up with a domain I already own. So that's lunchhourweb.com. You can buy a new domain. I think it costs $10 here for Zoho. So if you don't want to use uh, GoDaddy, you can do that. My account is being created right now. Welcome to Zoho Mail. Thank you for considering Zoho Mail to manage your business email. So let's go ahead and set up lunchhourweb.com in Zoho. Welcome to Zoho Mail. You're about to set up business email for your domain, lunchhourweb.com in Zoho. Follow the instructions here to complete the steps for email setup. You need to start by verifying your domain. So let's go ahead and do that. I just have to prove that I am the owner of lunchhourweb.com. So see name verification steps for some popular DNS. Let's go to the CNAME method. Domain, the domain verification is an important step to ensure the domain is valid, not expired, and the person who added the domain has sufficient privileges, it means they own it or they have rights to make changes. Domain verification is a mandatory step. Make sure the domain is not spoofed. I'm not pretending to be someone I'm not. And also prevent any loss of service through the misuse of domain names. So you can verify the domain at Zoho using the following methods. The CNAME method, add a specific CNAME provided by us in your DNS manager. You can do a text record, add a specific TXT record in the given format, or an HTML, upload the given HTML file in a specific folder as provided by instructions. We'll probably just do the CNAME method. And to do that, for verifying domains involves two steps, generating the unique CNAME code in Zoho and adding the code in your DNS manager. So we're gonna log into our Zoho Mail as a super admin. Let's go into Zoho Mail. You have added your domain for email hosted with Zoho. Verify the domain. This gets and verify. And let's go to GoDaddy. So what I need to do is go over to GoDaddy. Let's bring up another web browser. And let's go ahead and get logged in. Just a minute. I'm going to pause here and put in my username and password. Just a minute. I'm logged into GoDaddy and I went to my domains. I just clicked on my domain and I clicked on lunchhourweb.com and I went to DNS management. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll down and actually let me go back. What I need to do is create a CNAME record copy this right here and point it to zmverify.zoho.com. So I'm going to change my CNAME record. It points to zmverify.zoho.com. I'm going to go ahead and save. That should be my, Z, my CNAME. This is the name I got and my value, zmverify.zoho.com and verify by CNAME. Ensure that you have added the CNAME with your DNS provider. You may also have to wait 30 to 60 minutes for the changes to be effective. Let's try it now and let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, we'll try it again tomorrow. Congratulations, you have verified your domain, lunchhourweb.com. Cool. So I actually didn't have to wait. So I'm gonna create my poll at lunchhourweb.com and you have now verified. You can now proceed to add users and create their accounts for your organization. And so I'm gonna skip 
And now I can create a group. I've also heard this called aliases, but groups are common email accounts that serve the purpose of having a common email address for a team of users. For example, hr at lunchhourweb.com as a group account. And then go to everybody who work in the HR department. I'm just gonna create one right now. And let's go ahead and we're gonna add a group and we're gonna call this social. Streams, I believe, is their chat in the mail software so I'm not gonna worry about that yet and access level only group members I don't want this to go everybody in my company the moderator is Paul and let's go ahead and create group I'm the moderator so obviously if I'm a moderator I'm already in the group so I don't have to worry about that if I wanted to add other people I could and confirmation mail will be sent to users outside the organization so if I had someone else that I wanted to monitor my social media accounts I could do that and they don't even have to have their own lunchhourweb.com email. They could have their own personal email, their own domain email, etc. So I'm going to go back to setup. And we've already created groups, configure email delivery. You need to configure the MX records of your domain to start receiving email to the users and groups. You can change the email service provider of the domain only after this critical step. The MX records of Zoho are mx.zoho.com, party 10. And that's a host name at. So let's go jump back over here. These are the MX records down here. It's set to GoDaddy's default right now. I want to change that. Change that points to memx at zoho.com, priority of 10. Yep. So save that. And then my next one, priority of 20, is mx2.zoho.com. And that's priority of 20 and save that as well. So I've updated my MX records, MX2 does a hope. You must remove or delete any other records other than the two above. And I have, I have no other MX records, just these two. If I did have any others, I'd want to remove them. And give me instructions to do that. I've done that. Email migration. Now if I had any emails before I want to migrate from another service provider, I could bring those over. I'm not worried about that. This is a brand new email address. Haven't sent anything before. And so I'm going to skip this. Mail client configuration. I can also set up Pop or IMAP in Outlook, Thunderbird, Apple Mail, General. I don't need to do this as well. I'm just going to use their web hosting version for now. But if I had Outlook or Thunderbird, I would use the IMAP version. IMAP, what it allows you to do is will keep a copy of the email on your server and also download one to your mail client. Especially if you're using multiple devices, definitely use IMAP because if you use POP, if you have your email on your phone and you read the email on your phone and then you go back to your computer and try and open it in Outlook, it's not going to show up. It's only going to download to one device. So IMAP, choose IMAP if you're ever going to be setting these up. I'm not going to worry about that right now either. And then mobile access. So we'll, Zoho Mail provides exclusive native apps for iOS and Android for accessing them, email, calendar, contacts, etc. Let's click proceed to mobile accounts. Let's go ahead and set this up. IMAP enabled. I'm going to pop disabled. And active sync enabled. I'm good on here. So let's go ahead and proceed to access Zoho Mail. Let's go and read our first email. Welcome to Zoho Mail, the always ad-free email service. Easy to use, stay organized, integrated office suite, improved productivity, has a built-in calendar that's really nice for a free mail service. Seamless access on the go, extensive control panel. No, that's right, no ads, that's pretty cool. All right, I hope that video was helpful for you. It was taken from an earlier recording, so some of the cuts in there may not have made a whole lot of sense, so I apologize for that. I really do hope it was helpful, though. Please subscribe if you liked it by clicking the link above or watch any of my other videos, and I'll just see you guys next time. Take care.